Today, I'm driving across the island, smashing some fish, and then we're gonna have a cookout with the boys while we watch the fights. So, let's go check them out. She so this gonna be on a quick session. Gotta get in and get out. I'm gonna be late for the fight, so. She First drop of the day, and I only have about 45 minutes, so this gonna be on quickie. One smash and dash. As I'm getting close down to the bottom here, I see a school of Apelus cruising by, and I'm thinking, huh, I fry up a couple of these, make a Pelu hot dog, boom, everyone's happy. And these guys are built for speed, ah, huh? they're skinny and narrow. So I'm waiting for an opportunity to line up on one, and I take a far shot right here. Look how many 360 flips this guy busted. The 360 flip master right there. He ends up shooting them off, shooting them back to the school, and they get the heck away from me. So now I'm just kind of looking around, figuring out my next move, and I start creeping on over to this boulder. And I'm looking down into those rocks over there, into the little crevices. And I'm trying to see if I can see any mempachis, but I don't see no more nothing down there. Kind of dead. But then out of nowhere, this tasty school in Anuez rolls by. And all I got is poke on my mind. So I poke one right here. And now I like poke too. So I look to my right, make sure no more puhi. About to bite my okole. I start pulling this guy in. I pull him off the prongs. I got my CT9 loaded. I take a lunge on him, but they is dipping out already. And then boom, out of nowhere, the fattest uku ever. I start waving this thing new at him like, hey, I get some fresh poke right there just for you. He's coming from the top, but he's headed straight towards me. Look at the size of this guy. And as I shoot him up, he starts swimming away really fast and I really wish I didn't do that. I knew he was far out of range and that I wouldn't hit him and I was just kind of trying to play with him like, hey, I could have smashed you if you came closer. But as I'm swimming up, he turns around and there's two of them down there and they're just cruising. So no more Nainui poke for the boys. Now I gotta make poke for these ukus right here. And as I'm busting them up, I'm getting all excited because I see them still down there and they're super curious. This is round number two of me versus uku. You can see them on the bottom here, whacking my world famous Nainui poke. And after eating that, they gotta come in and give me one shot. That's just proper etiquette. As I get down to the bottom here, this Alaihi was just about to mop the floors with this Nainui head, but I shushed him away. I grab him, I climb over to this boulder. I'm in prone position right here. I'm using it to hide my body, and I'm just dangling this forbidden fruit over the edge, just waiting for them to come in and take another bite. You can see the big boy, he's kind of weary now after I teased him a little bit earlier. He's starting to come in, he's looking at that head like, whew, I like to take one bite. But that damn CT9, I don't trust that thing. So he keeps his distance and that's another round for the Uku. Two zip and I gotta make something happen quick. I kept that Nainui head so I could drop the bomb on round number three. This is the last and final round, and I gotta make something happen quick. How's this hoggy right there? That's not for you, my guy.
So I get down to the bottom here, and the ukus are just above my head, just out of sight. I'm trying to stay kind of low, and, and I'm loading up my CT9 right now. And I'm trying to watch the game that they're playing. They're kind of just on the other side of these boulders right here, so... I creep on over here so I can just do some head peeking. How's those fat moves right there? Sheesh! Those guys are keeping their distance. There's one Uku right there. He's kind of keeping his eye on me, but I gotta keep an eye on my Akola so I make sure no more eel coming up on the right side. And I don't have the best view right here, right? So I gotta kind of look all over to see which angle they might be coming at me. And I don't know where the other one is right now, so I pop my head up, and then there he is. And then I pop my head back down to try and get back in the position. I do some head peeking to kind of entice him to come in. You can see right there, they're both coming in pretty strong, but the one that I flung my CT9 at when I was teasing him, he makes a turn first and he pulls the other one away. So if I didn't do that earlier, I would have had a way better chance at smashing one. So that was it. I'm down three rounds and that's it. I get no more chances on the Uku. I take the fat L from the double Ukus. They gave me cracks on that one. So now I'm just looking around trying to figure out what can I get because this is my last drop. I got to get the heck out of here and get to the fights. And I see this Opelukala creeping out of nowhere and I know brother Z loves this fish so... As I'm pulling this guy in, he starts to make a run for us. I gotta pin him up against the rocks and I take one last peek behind me to the right because whew, I want that Uku to come right on in, but that was it. Three rounds, no more nothing. So I still get air, so I load him up one more time. And I'm checking out that other Apelu collar right there. Double sashimi platter sounds pretty good to me. I kind of powered that thing up just a little bit too much, but good thing it was a stone shot. So I load him up one last time just for one little poke. So now we got double Apelukala Poke coming right up. I pull this guy in so I can secure my Apelukala. And as I spin around, wouldn't you know it? Look who it is. Mr. Double Ukus. And now I'm just showing on my double Apelukalas. Like, look, this could have been both you guys. Both you guys could have came and watched the fights with me, but no. All stoked right there. That was my last drop and I had to make it happen and I got lucky with two beautiful pelucalas. But now I gotta get this guy into my kui and I gotta boost the heck out of here. I'm gonna be late. Oh man, I would have stayed in there all day playing with those ukus, but I had to go. I only had about less than an hour to dive because I was running a little bit late and I don't want to miss the fight. So I got what I got, two apelukalas, and now we're off to go check out some donuts. Go nuts for donuts, let's go. Shee Everybody's leaving. Sound cut up phrase, sound cut up way. the sunshine with the rain. They say this town will waste your time. I guess they're right, it's wasting time. Some gotta win, some gotta lose. Good time, Charlie. 
Got the goods. Gonuts for donuts. The Punalu'u Bakery always coming true. Got that good good. All right, I got a Bismarck, a vanilla cream puff, a traditional, and a blueberry turnover. All right, now we gotta shoot them out the Hilo and get to the homie's house, cook up some grinds, eat some donuts before I go nuts, and watch some fucking badass fights. <laughs> Quick little pit stop and check out the Ohias. I love this little zone right here. All right, break's over, let's get out of here. Long journey, but almost there. Quick little pit stop. How's it? Got some delicious refreshments. But man, you know what is torture? Doing this long drive while you're hungry, smelling fresh donuts the whole way. That sweet butter and sugar, oh my goodness. Gotta wait though. That is dessert, and you can't eat dessert before the main course or you'll ruin your damn appetite. I drove across the island, went spearfishing, and got you guys some grinds, got you some donuts and goodies, and I was wondering if I could come hang out and watch the fights. Oh, hey, look, Carlos. Did you get the Ruku? Shucks, I almost did, but nah, I got away. But I got the Pelo Carlos, they're just as good, huh? Psh, what the f <laughs> What were you doing at Suisan? Oh, I was there in the heyday. You guys weren't even taking anything smaller than like 100 pound fahis, huh? I, if I recall correctly, there wasn't even that option. Like, they were all big. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was almost embarrassing to bring smaller than that. Like what that I got time. right there. This is <laughs> like, yeah, it, it was different times. Okay, oh, I'll take off my glasses. I'm gonna share it. <laughs> Not for free, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Who's dude. that? Yeah, Kiwi is extraordinarily brave. Would you ever eat this fish? Back then? Yeah. Uh, no. 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 This is the brother's Z special right there. Yeah. They sell stuff on the shelf now that you wouldn't even conceive of seeing. So, like, for example, um,. Ahi bellies, right? Big ahi bellies, like from 100 pound plus fish. Back in the day, we used to like sell them for 99 cents a pound, 89 cents a pound. Wow. Now it's like, I look at it, it's like 8.99 a pound. You know, it, it's yeah. so different now. How, how long ago was that? Oh, that's, <laughs> what, 20, 30, 40, 20, 20 30 years ago or something, something like that. So, no worries. How's that? Not bad. I mean, yeah, you know. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, on the way. Beautiful. On the way. Okay. We got Chef Brada Z. What you gonna whip up? Uh, do some pelu kala poke. A pelu kala poke. Kind of a variation on it. Yeah, yeah. All do right. some mushrooms and onion. These are our local oyster mushrooms.
heat from those veggies, steam that fish a little bit, and then we'll add some spices and mix it together. Looks pretty good. Oh, I didn't turn it on. What an idiot. The thought saying, did you want to start the rice? Uh, I, oh. I opened it up and I was like, oh, are you saving it for oh something? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Guys. <laughs> I thought that you're saving it for something. Oh no, I forgot to turn it on. Oh my god. Busy day. Busy. I'm gonna take a smack out of that, bro. Let's see how this one is. Yeah. The pillow call hot dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's almost as good as lobster roll. Yeah? <laughs> almost. I like try bite. Fresh opelu kala poke. Thank you. I actually haven't eaten opelu kala too much, so. That's really good though. I think the, the cooked veggies that he put on it, it really makes it soft. It's not like chewy or anything like that since it's so fresh. Really creamy though, that's gotta be from the mayonnaise. Super good flavor though. It's not, it's not fishy or anything like that. Try this hot dog. No pelucala hot dog right there. Because of the bun. It's crazy. <laughs> really good though. It's basically just like a a poke poke sandwich. <laughs> but super good. I'm really surprised on the pelucala sashimi, like the, the raw fish. I guess it's not technically raw, it's like slightly cooked because of the the cooked vegetables, but it's like really, really slight cooked. But man, it's it's really good. The so pelo color when it's aged, definitely better. So much better, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah right there. This is the moment you all been waiting for. It's our brownie right there. <laughs> Going up against a Titan. Couple weight class against a freaking beast. Let's go, Max. Prove me wrong, Max, I would love it. Come on. Yeah. Me wrong. 29th UFC appearance. That is incredible. The most significant strikes. He's gonna probably hold that record for so long. Man, I'm really surprised at this Opelo Kala though. It's really good. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. I normally don't cheat that fish. Now you know. Now, I know, <laughs> now you know. This guy turned me on to that. <laughs> Everybody make fun of me. Yeah. I know what I'm after. Broom fish is next, yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I, I saw one today, I was going for it, but I could have got it. I was hoping it I was hoping to get it, but it wasn't coming in. <laughs> it's funny, they're like the easiest fish in the world to shoot until you're after them. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this scrab right here. Bro, Max is looking pretty jacked, yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm forgetting about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let him up. Let's go. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh. 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 Son? Please. There you go, bro. It's crazy how much joy a UFC fight can bring you. It's, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Especially a fight like that, man. It's like <sighs> stand and bang. Last ten seconds of round five. Knocked him out with one second left. Such a local style vibe to it. Like, yeah. Ah, right? Right, right, bro, that, that, right now, toe to toe, let's go. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoever wins, wins, you know what I mean? Yeah. Totally, yeah. yeah.
We gotta celebrate. <laughs> Straight from the Putalulu Bakery. Yeah. There's Let's no go. apple filling in here, right? No, they're all bomb right there. Those are all good oh, ones. Oh, I know this one, yep. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Just as the good as my first one. The Bismarck. The Bismarck. Awesome. That one is original and the other one's uh, vanilla cream. What'd you think? Super good. Yeah? Yeah, help me recover from the excitement. <laughs> vanilla cream puff. All of Waianae right now just going off. Well, All of Hawaii right now <laughs> going crazy. Right on, Kevin. Thank you for having me. Dude. Thank you for cutting up the fish and no, the grinds no, 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 and all no. that. Yeah, it's you <laughs> always welcome. Hosting yeah, yeah, the yeah. fights. Two hour drive back. Let's go. What you What you got? You going diving tomorrow? <laughs> I'm going diving tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Which is also two and a half hours away. <laughs> Everything on this island is about two hours. <laughs> two to two and a half hours away. Uncle Max won $600,000 in bonus money. Pretty badass, Uncle Max. That was a sick fight. I just love how much joy the UFC brings me. It's incredible. Pretty badass day. Drove across the island. Got to smash some fish. Got to play around with some ukus. Eat some killer grinds. I am so surprised how that Opelo Kala came out. I've been sleeping on that fish for a while. I really thought it was gonna come out kind of fishy and man, Brother Z chefed it up pretty good and it was incredible. Glad I got to share that with all you guys. Mahalo's for watching and mahalo aina. <laughs>